So this is David Warburton again explaining the structure of the air sacs of the lung. So the scale here, we're just going to turn this over, the scale here is about 100 microns. This is the most distal duct leading to the distal air sacs. And as you can see in this view, this distal duct ramifies into one, two, three, four, five, five to seven air sacs. If we look at the other, now we look at the other side, we can see that this is where the pleura lies, and this is the peripheral air sacs that abut the pleura. You'll notice that they're indented and have a rough surface, and this is because this is where the capillaries lie that are collecting oxygen from the gas in these alveoli. So this red plastic structure is the air in the alveoli. Now, this rubber band, I'll show the other side. This rubber band represents the elastin and collagen bands which lie around the mouth of the alveoli. Actually, there's a bed spring-like structure that comes up the airway like that. And then in each alveolus, there is a ring around the mouth. They're all interconnected like the plastic on a set of beer cans, they're all interconnected. So this is a fairly stable structure and this is the air in the air sac.